on the first week of Lent, getting ready to come close to the mystery of Easter, we remembered how the baby was born. And when he looked up into his parents' face, the cross was already there. Then we remembered how when Jesus was a boy, he went to, to celebrate the festival of Passover in Jerusalem with his parents. And when his parents left, he stayed and, and they thought he was lost. But there he was in the temple talking with the teachers. And he said, didn't you know, didn't you know I would be in my father's house? Last week, we remembered how he was baptized, how his cousin John brought him down into the water and lifted him up into the light. And when he came out, how people said they, they saw something like a dove come out of the heaven. And they heard something like a voice saying, this is my son, my beloved, listen to him. This week, this week we hear about how Jesus went across the river after he was baptized he kept going across that river into the desert. He was in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. And as you know, there's not a lot of food or water in the desert, so he was very hungry. Then it was as if a voice said to him, If you're really the Son of God, turn these rocks into bread. Jesus said, no. We need more than food to be really alive. Then it was as if he was on the top of the temple in Jerusalem, and the voice said, if you're really the Son of God, jump off. The angels will catch you. Jesus said, no, we don't need to test God. And then it was as if he could see all the kingdoms of the world. And the voice said, I will make you king over all of these if you bow down and worship me. And Jesus said, no, I am a king, but not that kind of king. And then he went back across the river to start his work. Now I wonder if there is something you can bring to help us tell this story or part of this story. Maybe something you have in your home or maybe something you can make or draw. Only you know what, what that might be. And we'll see you next week for more of the story.